Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. So we've had a few comments wondering whether we're going to catch a fish. You're probably not going to believe me, but I promise you I've actually caught a few of these. We've just unluckily had the camera die basically every single time. I'm just not meant to catch a fish on camera. On our way south from Bodrum to Mamaris is only a handful of protected anchorages. We stopped over in a town called Dutcha. We had low expectations of the place as we hadn't done any research and it was simply just a random stop along the way for us. Now being out of season, a lot of restaurants are closed and these small towns aren't very lively. However, this place pleasantly surprised us. It had a fishing village style boardwalk lined with seafood restaurants and we visited this cool little quirky bar for a couple of drinks that offered beers from all around the world. It's pretty unexpectedly nice place to visit. It's not super lively at this time of the year, but it's still pretty cool. We're very close to Greece right now. We're actually just out of Greek waters, but we were in Greek waters five minutes ago. So we've, we've taken Alex and Iran to Greece. We've taken Alex and Aileen. Uh, Aileen. You're having a difficult time. You have this thing. Aileen. You, you keep confusing me because Alex, Alex keeps saying like, what do you keep saying? Lena. Lena. And it keeps making me think like yeah, Aileen. Sure. When you say Lena, I'm like maybe it's Aileen. No, it's Aileen. No, you tell me. Come on, Aileen. What are your thoughts on that, hun? Don't have any. No. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? We've just done a nice 16 nautical mile sail from Dutcha. 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 <laughs> to this bloody beautiful island here in Mamar near Mamaris, mate. Yeah. That's all I've got to say. Downwind. Turkey just absolutely loves their flag. You see it everywhere. Very patriotic. It's a good flag though, I must say. There's actually some different kind of looking houses around, like wooden, brown, different colours. Everywhere else it's pretty much just white with orange roofs, everywhere kind of looks similar. So it's kind of nice to come somewhere that looks a little bit different. We could have come between this island here on the way in, whereas we kind of went around. Um, the depth was 2.6 meters, so we we're a little bit nervous. So we decided it's better safe than sorry. We'll just go around. It's gonna add a little bit of time on, but much better than risking it. What are you doing? What's up? It's just telling everyone how we went around because it was really shallow. It's through that bit, wasn't it? Through there that we could have gone. No, not that bit. There's another bit over there. All oh, right. We went around. Because we're being safe. You should have just, sorry. You should have just said yes because I was filming, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was that way. <laughs> <laughs> I've been downstairs editing, so I haven't even seen half of where we've gone. 
Look, it looks really cool over here too. There's like a little green grass patch again. to Mamaris today if the weather plays nice to us we'll see how we go I think it's about five hours away but it's supposed to be pretty windy so we've got guests on board if it gets a bit too sticky um, we'll have to stop somewhere halfway so yeah it's starting to get a bit fresh all rugged up yeah, she's bloody cold. Got my hot chocolate it's actually all right at the moment but it just when the wind blows, whew, I'm not looking forward to the middle of winter, that's for sure. What are you doing? We might be able just to get this up now if we go quick. Okay. What are we getting up the main? the corner it started to get pretty hairy. We are trying to sail as tight as we could to the wind to avoid getting too close to the island on the port side of us. But the wind had other plans. It started blowing 35 knot gusts and no one enjoys sailing in wind this strong. We are probably sailing too close to the wind as you can see the sails flapping a lot. We are worried we'd have to detour as to not freak Alex and Aileen out but it didn't last too long as once we got around the next corner we were sailing downwind and ended up having a four hour sail averaging eight knots south to Mamaris. <laughs> Thank you. 
yet on this trip. Like, how unsafe? Not at all. No, nah, sweet. Not at all. You look really good. Really? Yeah. Thank you. you. Feel as good as you look? Yeah. <laughs> She's a pearl of a day to day. And a nice sail to this nice anchorage. We are going to go for a walk. And there's, um, what is it? A ruin. Yeah, that's what it is. With an amphitheatre. We're going to go check that out. Alex isn't coming because he's too hungover. But he looks pretty though. Yeah, I look good, right? I'm just trying to puzzle peace. This must have been where some of the turkey fly fires happened. A lot of burnt trees over there. A few houses that are burnt too. It's sad. And it's got our boat in it, look. It's got me jumping in the water. <laughs> well listen. You hear the cows going. Oh yeah. Cool. There's me. What are you doing over there? You should I'm be on the boat with me. I'm with your boyfriend with his massive nose. Wow. <laughs> we made it to the ruins. Which way do you want to go? Along the path. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that one looks scary ass. I hope not. I got a nice view. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh, it's fine with my fingers. <laughs> Don't fall off the cliff, on. Oh. That is insane. Yeah, it is. The ancient city of Amos is a settlement belonging to the Roman period. During excavations in the region in 1948, four fragments were unearthed with inscriptions of the terms of three separate rental agreements from around 2000 BC. We were most surprised though by how beautiful the view was from up here and of course we loved watching all the mountain goats roaming around the sheer cliffs, slightly worried they were going to slip and fall. Take a breath and try to breathe I'm just trying to puzzle peace So random, right across the road. He did that Hi. so quick. Look at him. Stealth. We're doing a massive plane day today. Lost. Yeah, there's a lot of watching. <laughs> I don't know how much this is gonna cost. Oh shit. We need to do it. Uh, we just had our friends leave today. This sucks, it's just us two again. It doesn't suck, do you mean? <laughs> nah, it's just good having a couple extra people on board. Every now and then. But yeah, we've, we're basically cleaning the whole boat. Again, um, cleaning the water tanks because they are, they've got a bit of a, what's it called, that smell? Sulfur. Sulfur. Build up or something, they really smell. We're guessing, we because we went through like sul sulfury waters and we had the water maker on, so we're guessing it's that, we're hoping it's that anyway. Uh, but we've changed the filter of the water maker. Um, yeah, cleaned out all the tanks and 
or ca cleaning. Cleaning. We're still halfway through. And that's the water maker filter, pre filter in there that we've changed. So hopefully, we get some nice water coming through now. So we, oh, we, we're like camping out here. We've we found these little side things and it makes it into another room, which is pretty cool. So where's the camp? It's a bit of privacy, just on the side there. We've been cooped in for the last couple of days because the weather hasn't been ideal to us, but we finally got a bit of sunlight. I've got a, I've got a choke it. I've got a, oh, it's there's a bit of water in here. It has, has been raining. Oh my god! Take your shoes off. No, they're gonna fall in. Do not do that. Okay, boss. Sorry. <laughs> Look how much water's in our tender. Probably should have put that up while it was raining, but we'll get it sorted on the beach, hopefully. Pretty exciting just to get out, hey hon? Hopefully this thing starts. It's motor. Otherwise we're in strife. We don't even need a bath. We could just go swimming in here, fill this up. Okay, kiddie pool. Except we have the ocean all around us, so we totally don't need that. No, put, Maybe like put a, like hot water in there. Like a, yeah, spa. <laughs> we can have a spa in here. Where are we going to get the hot water from 